I've got to be honest, Keisha gets me excited because I think just the pedigree of deposits. Um, you know, you, as I said before, you should chase big deposits and look around them because there's something coming back to your island arc questions. There's something fundamental about that area that you've got a lot of gold. And so you always want to go and look at that first and see if that search base has been exhausted and it hasn't been, right? So, you know, one of the things also I've learned from my experience is that all of the exploration around the world is generally in the top 100 metres. And that's because of mining methods and exploration, the way people think. Um, what I learned from Newcrest is, which, you know, when you, I'm going to tell you this, it's like, well, it makes sense, is that gold deposits are just not restricted 100 metres. And so they form, you know, down to kilometres. Um, and so once you step back from the little mines and go, well, hang on, the system could be bigger and start exploring deeper, it just opens up the whole search space. And that's in Kishu, that hasn't been done. So when you look at it from, an, you know, the talk about the exploration maturity clock, the clock, once you change the search base, the clock gets reset. And that's what you want in exploration.